All right, guys, putting everything away just a little bit, cleaning up the bench. Uh, we're going to grab our last two zip ties and our last two black heat shrink. Okay, we can put our camera cover back on. We can put this away, put our screwdrivers back. Make sure to put all this stuff away. We don't need all of it here. Here we go. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to finish by putting our antenna up and, and mounting them. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in from the outside here. We're going to come in from underneath. Uh, let me see. I want to... Yeah. Whoops, whoops, whoops. All right, drop that one. We're going to come in from underneath and go through the first hole right here where the antenna is coming out. And we're going to zip tie this one just like this. Okay. Make sure to pull it so it's flat against the top of the frame just like that. And just tighten it down. Okay. Then we're going to take the other one, which I just dropped. Come and come in from the underneath on this side. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing. Zip tie it just like this. And bring that buckle down to where it's flat. Okay. Now, with that said, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our heat shrink and we are going to hold the antenna wire against the zip tie and feed the heat shrink over it, just like this. Okay, and run that down. Okay, and we're going to do the same on this side. Hold the antenna wire against the back of the heat shrink, or against the back of the zip tie, feed the heat shrink over it. That'll help keep the antenna wire in place. All right, and then we're going to take our heat gun and we're going to heat up the heat shrink. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Get all sides. Make sure it's on there good and tight there, just like that. Okay, we're going to do the same on this side. Okay, this way we're basically securing our antenna. And now we are going to heat it up and pull it, just hold it at a, like a 45 degree angle. Okay, just like that. Now, if you have an air can, you could hit it with the air can and cool it very quickly and it would hold its position. Okay. Or you can just blow on it or just hold it. So I'm going to heat this one up because I want to get it to hold at 45 degrees or so. Okay. Put that down. And we now have our antenna for our receiver done, properly done. Okay. Everything here is now 100% finished. So now the moment of truth, and then we will call it a day, and we will get into bait flight next. The beta flight next. Moment of truth is going to be. Oops, I wanted this to kind of sit flat. But let me just open it. Now that our antennas are done and everything's done, the moment of truth is going to be to take our meter. Okay, turn it on to continuity, and touch our positive and our ground. Doesn't matter if you put positive, positive, ground, ground. Everything's there, we have no beep. You can come over here, touch it on the XT60 pads here. Okay, make sure it's working, yep. All right, and then what we can do here is, uh, well, no, that pretty much, that should do it. So we know it's not gonna short out on the main power. So let's go ahead and see if we get tones when we plug it in. And for that, I will, uh, I do not see it here. Because somebody has borrowed it. Oh, here it is. I will get my smoke stopper. And I'm going to try and. Yeah, there we go. We get my smoke stopper. I'm going to plug this in. I just want to hear if we get tones. Perfect. We're done. So we are done now, guys, with the build itself. It came out really good. It's an extremely well priced build for what you're getting. Um, this, by the way, just to let you know, is the HD version of it right here, which you'll, I'll do a build video next. But this is ready to go, and now we're just ready to do beta flight programming. So we'll be back with that one, guys. Please just make sure to clean up your bench area and kind of get everything sorted out. And we'll be back for the next round. I'll talk to you shortly.